Good morning, that was night four in the books. We are on day four and a half. Had an unbelievably awesome day yesterday. If you missed it, you gotta check that video out. It's gonna be a pretty special one. Coffee is perking. I got a couple pieces of buttered bread in the fry pan that I'm hoping to turn into toast. And I'll follow that up with a couple of chicken eggs and that'll be breakfast for this morning. I'm pretty excited for today. Dan's coming back out. Ben's coming back out. Jim's coming out today. And maybe a couple more guys, maybe a couple vets. I haven't heard the final tally yet. It's gonna be really hard to top yesterday. It's gonna be hard to even compete with yesterday for the day we had, but we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna have fun no matter what. If Abe comes out, I'm sure I'll be doing a lot of jigging because he just loved the live scope. He loved jigging. And whenever I'm around somebody else that loves jigging, I just can't help myself. It's like an addiction watching that screen and having the fish come in and trying to trick them into bite because they're not easy to catch. They're not aggressive. You know, the, the crappier. They're probably like a, even the aggressive ones are like a 10 second catch at, at best. It takes 10 seconds to coax them into biting. And the yellow perch are fairly aggressive. The rock bass can be aggressive when they're when you find them. Good night's sleep last night. It's mid 20s. It's actually snowing pretty good right now. There's a pretty good charge of snow. I heard it on the roof at about 4 a.m. It's right now. It's about 5:45. So it's been snowing that whole time. It's not really built up to much. Maybe a half inch. Maybe we might get an inch out of it. We'll see when it's all said and done. But got another. Oh, probably half hour before the sun's up and it's light out there and those guys should be coming around within the hour. I'm gonna let those guys get set up first on, on their desired locations and then I'll kind of pick around there. I hate taking like the, the best spot, you know what I mean? I, I don't mind fishing somewhere else all day and I don't even know if I'll pull a trap today to be honest with you, it depends who's out there today. All right, I'm itching to get out there. It's still, oh, probably got 25, 35 minutes before the sun's up and shining, ready to go. Gonna have coffee cup number two. Probably drive that right into me and throw a couple shiners in a bucket and head out. I already loaded the sled with all my tackle. I bring my traps in at night so the reels don't freeze up and the line doesn't freeze up and everything's working good. So I brought those in last night, so. They're loaded in the sled. Augers loaded in the sled. I also bring that battery in at night too, so the battery's not uh, freezing up. I don't know if that is a thing or if it happens, but it just makes sense to me to do that too. My shiner's doing okay. My battery's died on the aerators for that. There's two aerator pumps on there and they'll last 24 hours on 2D batteries going pretty hard. So I've got, you know, I already did two days plus the drive out here. So they died last night before bed so i went out and changed all the water so they had good oxygenated water they all look pretty good this morning so i'll probably change the water today try to keep them alive i wish these guys were out here because i hate to take any spot that anybody thinks that it's their spot or that they prefer to fish better or they think's a better spot i really don't care there's a lot of really good spots out here and just having a bait in the water you get a chance and I just don't want to be that guy that pops one in, in their favorite hole or whatever, but I can't wait all day either. You know how that is. And the funny thing is too, on that note is I don't think I've pulled a trap in three years fishing with reboot because I get way more joy watching someone catch their first pike or their biggest pike or watching one of the vets pull up a fish than I would pulling up the biggest fish of my life. It's just a weird feeling that it's uh, it's hard to explain, but it's way better. It's a hundred times better feeling watching that happen than doing it just yourself. All right, that's the end of that cup. Cup number two gone. I'm gonna shut off the old Milwaukee light. We're gonna go to head power. Let's have let's have head her out. Yeah, it's still snowing pretty good. We got a little bit of snow. It was like a mix of snow and rain. Let's see how the bait's doing. Yeah, they're doing perfect.
you got to get that cat ice off the top of the cooler. That's probably from the stuff I poured in. That cat ice is wicked bad for shiners. They say that'll kill them worse than anything. Water. I don't need much water. All right, let's pick out some winners for today. Some of these guys have been down two days in a row already. There's one. I like leaving that big bait station right there, stationary, and I got a little bucket I can bring my bait as I need it. Man, I wish that sun would just hurry up, come out. Let's go. I think I got everything. Let's see if the old girl starts up. She's been super reliable to me for the last couple of years. about 30 foot of water here 30 to 35 and I'm setting that about a foot and a half to two foot off the bottom it's a live shiner <laughs> Morning, what's up bud what's up buddy how was the ride all right. Not bad. I'm all set up. I'm set up in weird spots. I left yeah, the. You are. I left all the. I left all the honey holes open. You shouldn't have. John, this is our friend Matt. How you doing? What's up, Matt? I'm Joe. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Ben, what's happening, bud? How you doing, man? Good. Good. To see you again. Yeah, you guys ready? Suck with names. No worries. Yeah, we're ready. Any size to them? Yeah. Not a lot. Ain't too big, I think. Yeah, you look some line out. Just the baby. Any size? Oh, this one feels a little better than the other one did. You need something? Get it out of that slot, the ice. Hey. Oh, he came to life there. There might be eight. I'm a cup though. Oh, you sucker. He just took the bait. He's straight down. He's either yeah. feel for him. You're in 35. And you got you got a braid or you got a wire so you can horse them if you need to. He's starting to go a little no? Or is that just the bait? Yeah, no, I... Don't muff it. John. Yeah. Oh, I feel small, I ain't really. Make a deal with you, you can take all my traps. Is he there? Can't chew. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a fish there? Yeah, there's a fish there. Is it a perch or a rock bass? Is it still heavy? No. 
pickerel? Watch it be a yellow with a skin. Dude, like I, that I'd love to see a state it. record yellow. I think pickerel. it is. It. it is. No, that's got a lot of bubbles. Pickerel! You never seen well, it. I've never caught you a pickerel. You just said yeah. that. Look at the teeth box on his back. You just said right you've never seen one here. That was almost the I end of him. That's wow. Hooks. You don't need a big hook set. Cross his eyeballs. Better take him before he stops. Take a pull up thing. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, that's stiff Whoa. 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 Still there. That is a Get monster. A that's a monster. If you let him run that's a big fish. Run. It ain't a little one. No, that's, a little, that's a little one. That is a big perch. That's a little one. <laughs> Bigger than that pickerel. He sees that hole, he's going to make a monster run. You better be ready for it. Feet. Whoa! There you go. Decent little guy. Yeah. Huh? Whoa! Whoa! Take it Whoa. Out. Whoa. 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 Take Whoa. Out. Whoa. Whoa. Get out! 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 Get Flow. Don't buff it, Johnny! Holy Oh, that's five nylon rope you got here for <laughs> That's what Ben uses. It's the only thing you can find with anything heft to it. Wow, he ran right towards me. Quick. Watch your mouth, please. Well, sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, YouTube. You look like a meathead right now. Heck, this is floral. Whoa! Yeah, that's floral, bud. Nice one! Oh, oh yeah, he's a funky one. Oh, five? Five. Three, maybe. No, I'll give it three. What? Three pounds. Come on, boy. All right. Okay, it's five and a half. No, that's going that's to pretty. six and a half. That's pretty fresh. Nice one, Johnny. That's one. Yeah, he's got some, he's got some boobies on it. Some testicles. <laughs> that's the first fish I've ever seen John catch in 20 years. Really? Yeah. Congratulations that's on your nice first fish, fish ever. Dude. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That's the future. A little mm -hmm. over seven. No Especially way. when you shake it like that. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Give it an extra Give half a pound. Give that spring there. I said six and a half. That's only half a pound off. No, he came back to the same spot. <laughs> Where'd you learn to hold? Oh, oh, oh. He's it's, all right. it's all right. He's good. All you got to do is twist and reach down through the circle and pull it back through a simple slip knot. Check it out. So at the end of the day, all you have to do is when you pick up your traps, you have your marker, just pull it out. Simple. Another way to look at it. You do that method. Another way to do it. This is how I learned it. I learned things slowly. Just take it and make a loop, wrap it around your finger. You're going to have two pieces here. Just pull up one of them and go through it. And you have the same I can get my fat sausage, sausage finger, finger, out. finger out of there. You get the same thing. It's just a simple slip knot. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that way. What's going on in here in the old smoke shack, Dan? Uh, we got some uh, venison burgers going. We got six deer burgers and six bear burgers going. Nice. What are you putting on there? Some Just some St. Louis style barbecue rub. Just give it a little bit of flavor. And then Jim brought his uh, famous homemade uh, relish to go with it. And... Should be a good lunch. Cheeseburgers. I'll get some air going here for you. I like it. She's smoking in here. <laughs> yeah, so everybody should have two burgers. Nice. All right, fellas. We're hammering the burgers now. What do we got here, Dan? We got Jim's homemade relish and pickles and mustard and ketchup. And now we're going to chow down. Nice. Looking good. Very you good. You drive that burger and you'll be catching pipe. <laughs> What do you think, old boy? Yeah. I ain't seen him yet. He's moving the water oh, pretty good. I'd say probably. Over 10? Yeah, possibly. Big head. That's Go a good one. Go ahead, grab him. Nice one. Easy killer. He's got to be 10. 
10, 11. 13. Wow. Nice. Nice fish, Jim. We'll get a picture of that. You know how to hold a fish? <laughs> yeah, like this. You put your fingers in there. That's a monster 15 pound, 13 pound fish. It really is. Amazing. Like Does he make, control. that's gotta be 38, 39 inches. My I'll in my put bag. money on that 30. I think that's, I bet you that's 38 inches long. No. I'll put money on it. Wanna bet me? No, he's 37. Wanna bet me? No. Bet he's over 37? What do you want to bet? A burger. 36. Yeah, well, he's a little bit. Didn't I just say that? <laughs> Damn it. You owe me. You owe me. Six and a half. You owe me a ton. I owe you a hamburger. Yeah. Fatty. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Oh, I almost got the release. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is the lure I caught that big pike on. It's just a tiny little jig head with a tail on it. It looks like a baby yellow perch and the primary forage in here is small yellow perch and small crappie. And that crate big pike didn't go for those big shiners that were on on traps near there. They went for that thing. Caught it on three pound test with four pound backing. Oh, there she oh, goes. Man. I take her now. Go, go, go. Wow. Uh, panic, 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 panic. <laughs> now. Don't do it like that. Huh? Yeah. Ooh, I uh oh. How to do it. Anyway, uh -oh. If it's running, let us know. It's running, Jim. It stopped him. That's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, I told this you. This is a monster, guys. It stopped him dead. Do you see that? Yeah. Keep Whoa. tension on him. This is good. This is a good one. John, get Going out down. of the way. Watch out. Make sure he doesn't oh, step yeah. on that line. If you, what's this got? Fluoro? Or? Yeah, it's fluoro. So be careful he's around the hole. He's staying down deep. If you got to let him run, let him run. Let him run. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Don't that's easy. Let her run, let her run, let her run, let her run. Get the grip. It's not that big, Jim. It's only 13, 14. Don't let him. Uh, Got a good hook set in there. Don't yep. try you know. pulling him out of the ice. Matt, what's your biggest ever? This is his biggest. Don't pull him You're right doing up good, out. Dude. Keep focus. If you want Who's going to grab the fish? Where's oh, shoot. the grip is? Oh, shoot. Get, get his head up. Get his head up. Good, good. Yeah! There we go. That's the biggest. There we go, buddy. That's nice. The one, yeah. yeah. Nice. Freaking right. <laughs> you got a weird hook set on him. I know. That was crazy. You can see the hook on the top of the head on the other side. Oh, yeah. See oh, it? It's in the corner. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Look at how fat that guy Perfect is. Look at that. He's got a bite mark back here too. They all do. All do crazy. Enough. Yeah. All right. I how big he was when he got that. Oh, he'll go. He'll go 14. 10, 11. 14. Little over 12. 12. We'll call it 15. <laughs> <laughs> Almost 12 and a half. Ready? Oh my god, <laughs> they pose now. Yeah, yeah. A little pose. more left. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. All right, you know how to let it go? Yeah, that's a good one. That is a that's good a one. beauty. Alligator. It bend. Oh, okay. So you grab right in Let's front of the I tail there. Flyers. I got him right there. And you can hold, <laughs> yeah, you can hold him. Just kind of get his head started. And you I can hold him there for a second if you want. I got another flyer. And just slowly here, let him go down. Bye bye. Make some, make some little ones. Hold them right there for about a second. All right, now slowly let him go and see. Yeah, what's so he see. does a tail flap. Yeah, he's gonna do a wicked. Like he'll do a wicked tail flap. Give him a hell. Pull him up out. And show him the whole thing. I want to get there really slow, but I want you before you release it to pull it up out so they can see the. Yeah, grip that bad boy and pull it up. Keep coming, keep coming. Hey. Oh, there she yeah, goes. There goes! Hey, <laughs> slimy <laughs> high five. All right, man. Best ones. Nice job. Good, good job, man. Good. Even with oh. all that pressure off yelling at you <laughs> yeah. and giving you a hard time. Yeah. Awesome fish catch. We got to see Dan get one. 
see a muff. Oh, yeah, we're gonna watch muffin the Andy Muff one. Yeah. Here we go. Man. He just spit it. That's you, why man. He just yeah. spit it. Man. Who wants it? Who wants it? I like muffin fish, guys. It's fun. Muffin fish. One of those. It's gonna be the state record muffin fish. I'm all nervous now. Matt, what do you think? Is he landing this fish or no. muffing it? I think you muffed it already because you didn't take it while it was Which going. Which way is it? The it's going to go again. It's in there. <clears throat> I got a slack line down there. Oh, it is. It did go slack, boys. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. I Where hope he's not around that rock. Look at that tail whip. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did go straight down, didn't he? Did he go around that rock? Right nope, there it. he goes. Turtle. It's there. And that's a bird. on the ground. That's oh, that's a pig. How Under much? 10 or over 10? Over 10. I bet this will be the fish of the day. Yeah. Excuse me. It's the right time for the fish of the day. It is. 2 o'clock. I don't know if I should give it more time or... That's the master. What do you think, Jim? Hey, to Take each his own. One. You used to yell at me when I took it too early. Go, go, go! Oh my god, he's... Oh! Y'all, you're screwed now. Come on, take that. Small. Real small. Really? Still on there? He's still there. He's tiny. Not big at all. Fish of the day. Look at all the knots. I know. Wasn't he giving somebody out about that? What's your bait doing way up here? I don't know. Just got a lot bigger at the hole. Hey, look at that hook set. That's how you right do a hook out of the set. Hole. Right Did you see that? Seventeen point six pounds looks like you two. <laughs> Damn, Wait a minute, I'll to, go get the tape measure. You're gonna have to give me a little money to edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey, get ready. Come yep. over here. You ready? I'll get the trap. Get the line. Oh yeah, fish of the day. I guarantee you it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Come let it blow that line. Yeah. Whoa. This is what, this is what happens, boys. You get a taught hard lesson. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say a word until he's on the ice. Good and hard. I would not say anything until he's on the hey, ice. <laughs> hey, Joe, reach down there with really your hand and knock that off oh. that. Oh. Yeah, you're good. You get a hard lesson on how to muff it. The muffin man. Danny, talk us through it. I'm going to tell you right now, this is the fish of the day. I'll put my money on it. I'm going to call over over 16. I think he's over 18. He's stopping me like a big Cold. fish. Yeah, he, he took a nice run when you set him. Somebody just... Oh, jeez, don't crow. Is he's, he burnt in again? Heavy. 10 five. Heavy. He's, he's here. Oh, no, that's the first. He's going to see this hole, and he's going to... Are we getting close? Yeah. Ooh, here we go. Getting close. No, that's another knot. Oh, fuck. Mm. Go. Okay. Yeah, way down. You're good. Keep following me. Got it. You got it. Yeah, I got it. Leader. Leader? Oh, oh, maybe six, maybe. Why is he fighting so good? He's he, look at this. It feels like look at this. over the place out there. Yeah. Look at this. Let me stop messing around with this little guy. I thought he was bigger than that. Octopus hook. Oh you, thank God. You can give it hell. If he didn't have a steel <laughs> on it, he wouldn't be landing there. He's gonna freaking nail it. He's gonna muff it. Nothing there. Pulled it right out. He did too. Yeah. What's there? Not very big. If this was big, I'll do a triple axle. You'll run a mile. Yeah, yeah. I'll run a mile. <laughs> <laughs> you sure he's there? No, it don't look like there's nothing there. That's like that's that's gone. <laughs> Is he burnt in? Ah, uh, he might be burnt in. Oh, you're, you're to the no, start. He's oh, he's moving. Whoa. Fish, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You're running a mile tomorrow. <laughs> That's small. It's still 30, 30 foot away. That's small. Oh, yeah, that 
that small. Don't lose a finger. Don't lose a finger. <laughs> Oh, he's staying down like he's a monster. You got steel there, so you don't have to be too cautious. Don't tell him like that. <laughs> oh! He's like an eight. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe ten. We made it sound way better than it was. <laughs> hey, it's the biggest one he's got. Yeah, but they put up some of the best fights, some guys. Yeah. Look at this, Dan. Yeah. yeah. You want to come up? He does not want to be near the hole. That's not a bad fish. No, oh, uh, one tooth. Oh, that's a boy. That's a real good fish. Nice. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. Nice six. one. He's over six. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eight. Yeah, we can give him nine. Wow. wow. Almost double digits. All right, you good. You see if you do this one right. What do you say when you release it? Matt. Do what? What do you say when you release it? No, what do I say? See you later, big gator. See you later, big gator. <laughs> that was the most lame. <laughs> there, there you go. go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Oh, All right, home sweet home. The boys just left. That is gonna do it for the fishing part of the day. Uh, pretty slack day, especially after yesterday. I mean, that, <laughs> it's hard day to follow. Hard act to follow for sure. We ended up having a pretty good day. Caught, uh, geez, caught two or three double digit fish. Nothing huge, 12, 13 pounds, I guess was the biggest. Those are always fun, those are, really nice fish good fish to catch and you know every one of those is a blessing so we were happy to have them a lot of flags tripped so they weren't feeding they were hitting stuff low pressure day uh overcast aren't usually the best for some reason for pike fishing you know usually an overcast day is a good day for any kind of fishing but i think the low pressure affected them and i don't know you know sometimes they just don't bite the big ones don't feed every single day or, or all day every day with that being said, tomorrow might be a big fish day. I got a couple kids coming out to join me tomorrow. I got to run all the way out in the morning and get them and bring them in, but we'll figure out a way to make that happen. One of them is Jack, who you might remember from my tiny trout pond video, who decided to go down the hill and thought he could make it to the pond in the jet sled and broke. Oh, he broke an iPad, a couple rods, a couple reels. Um, almost broke his neck which we're glad he didn't because be but that'll be fun to get him out here tomorrow i know he wants to whale on some panfish and i know he wants to try to catch a big pike so that'd be a lot of fun tonight i am going to tidy up camp i'm going to have to leave before the end of the day tomorrow i'm gonna have to pack up camp and get out of here because there's some rain coming and rain's no good with this and the trail getting out of here uh, the trail will be gone. It'll be obliterated. So t tomorrow is my only chance of getting out of here tomorrow night. And after that, it's just going to be a mess. And we might not be able to even fish for a couple more weeks. So super happy I was able to get in here and fish when I could. And put this video together and put it together for you guys. And hopefully enjoy it so far. Hopefully tomorrow is a smasher day. And we get to get to show you guys some really good fish and some good fishing. All right, guys. Dinner tonight is going to be a couple of Red Hot Snappas Lewiston Lobster Hot Dogs, known by several different names. I got my breakfast all ready for the morning. It's going to be a really early morning because I'm going to go out and pick up the boys in the morning and show them the way in. So I'll have to get a good early start in the morning. Weather-wise, we're pretty mild tonight. It's not making any ice, but we shouldn't be losing any ice. It's 26 degrees, no wind, coyotes howling again. They've been howling every night, right? Within the first hour of dark, they howl for about an hour, and then periodically I'll hear them through the night. It's, actually, I shouldn't say howling. They're more like yipping and communicating 
with a couple different groups. Thanks for tuning in to this day, guys. Something dumb might happen tomorrow, or something great might happen tomorrow. He's going to be bringing a couple of giant baits that he caught. He jigged up this week and saved. Uh, you're going to have to tune in to tomorrow's episode to see how big they are and what they are, but they are huge. I think they're bigger than anything I've ever put down the ice, and he's going for monster pike, too. It's going to be a fun day. Yes! <laughs> nice one! Look how oh fat that guy is! Yeah, well